Narcissistic abuse causes a number of chronic health conditions and issues, one of which is hair loss. Hair loss further destroys the already destroyed self-esteem by the narcissist and gives them more reasons to shame and blame you. I know it because I have personally experienced it. But how does this hair loss happen? What causes it? Let's find out and discover the shocking truth in today's episode. Hi, I am Danish a narcissistic abuse recovery professional. In this episode, we will learn how narcissistic abuse can lead to hair loss. Before we begin, I should let you know that I am creating a series of two videos, two episodes on hair loss after narcissistic abuse and how to recover from it. In today's episode, we will talk about the causes and in the next one, we will learn about healing the issue, the issue of hair loss. If you do not want to miss any updates, subscribe and press the bell icon to stay updated. Let's begin with understanding the impact of chronic stress experienced in a narcissistic relationship and how it leads to hair loss. Chronic stress, a common consequence of narcissistic abuse, has a devastating impact on your emotional and physical well-being. When the body perceives a threat, it initiates a stress response, releasing stress hormones such as cortisol and adrenaline. This response prepares the body for fight or flight in the face of danger and should get activated occasionally. However, when you are with a narcissist, you are subjected to repeated stressors, leading to a constant and dominant state of hyperarousal and oversecretion of stress hormones. Elevated cortisol levels disrupt various physiological processes, one of which is the hair growth cycle. It weakens hair follicles, causing hair to become thin and prone to falling out. The abuse also causes an overproduction of adrenaline, adding to the anxiety experienced by the survivor. Excessive adrenaline constricts blood vessels, reducing blood flow to the hair follicles and depriving them of essential nutrients and oxygen required for healthy hair growth. Collectively, chronic exposure to stress in the narcissistic relationship leads to an overactivation of the sympathetic nervous system and an underactivation of the parasympathetic nervous system, the rest and the digest response. Consequently, the body prioritizes survival over non-essential functions like hair growth, contributing to hair loss. The stress hormones that flood your bloodstream and sympathetic dominance disrupt the natural hair growth cycle, pushing hair follicles into the telogen, aka resting phase, prematurely. The hair becomes brittle and starts falling out, leading to telogen effluvium. Prolonged stress also triggers an inflammatory response in the body. Inflammation is the body's natural defense mechanism against injury or infection. But when it becomes chronic, it damages healthy tissues, including hair follicles. This inflammation causes further damage to hair and thus more hair loss. Trauma from narcissistic abuse also impacts the balance of sex hormones such as estrogen and testosterone. An imbalance in these hormones can affect hair growth as they play a crucial role in the hair follicles life cycle. For instance, elevated testosterone levels lead to increased production of dihydrotestosterone, DHT, a hormone that shrink hair follicles and cause hair loss. The next thing that we need to talk about is the sleep disruption and deprivation. But before we do, I'm wondering if you have experienced hair loss after surviving narcissistic abuse as well. If yes, drop your experiences in comments below and help other survivors feel validated. Sleep disruption and deprivation caused by the narcissist also lead to hair loss. Narcissistic abuse trauma leads to sleep disturbances such as insomnia, nightmares, and restless and anxious sleep. As you know, sleep is a critical period of restoration and repair for the body, including hair growth. During sleep, the body produces growth hormones that stimulate the hair follicles and promote the production of keratin, a protein essential for hair growth. Inadequate sleep impairs the process, weakening hair follicles and causing hair loss. A lack of sleep caused by the narcissist's presence directly or indirectly also weakens the immune system, making it less effective in protecting the body against infections and inflammation, both of which negatively affect hair follicles and contribute to hair loss. Sleep deprivation caused by the narcissist further exacerbates chronic stress, creating a vicious cycle that perpetuates both sleep problems and hair fall. 
Talking about nutrition, nutrient deficiencies caused by the lack of self-care destroy your hair as well. The emotional turmoil of narcissistic abuse leads to a lack of self-care, including poor eating habits. Healthy hair growth relies on a balance of essential nutrients, including iron, zinc, biotin, and vitamins A, D, and E. A deficiency in any of these nutrients can disrupt the hair growth cycle. The chronic stress experience in such a relationship interferes with your body's ability to absorb and utilize essential nutrients. The root issue lies in the gut. Narcissistic abuse trauma also impacts the digestive system, resulting in poor nutrient absorption and aggravating existing deficiencies, further hindering hair growth. To make matters worse, as a survivor of narcissistic abuse, you may cope with your emotional distress by engaging in emotional eating, which often involves the consumption of calorie-dense, nutrient-poor foods. This leads to an inadequate intake of essential nutrients, contributing to hair loss and damage. In some cases, the psychological strain caused by narcissistic abuse also leads to the development of trichotillomania, a lack of impulse control trauma response where survivors compulsively pull out their hair, resulting in hair loss. There is a direct connection between trichotillomania, narcissistic abuse, and hair loss, as well as the underlying mechanisms contributing to this relationship. In survivors of narcissistic abuse, trichotillomania develops as a maladaptive coping mechanism in response to emotional distress and trauma. The act of hair pulling may provide temporary relief from overwhelming emotions such as anxiety, anger, or sadness caused by the narcissist's crazy gaslighting, manipulation, and other abuse tactics they use to harm you. With time and trichotillomania, hair loss ultimately worsens and further damages your self-esteem. The sad fact is, hair loss caused by narcissistic abuse further intensifies feelings of low self-esteem, depression, and anxiety, giving the narcissist more reasons to ridicule and shame you for something they actually caused. In conclusion, chronic stress resulting from narcissistic abuse significantly impacts your emotional and physical well-being, contributing to hair loss through various mechanisms. Elevated stress hormones, disrupted sleep patterns, nutrient deficiencies, and psychological strain all play a part in damaging your hair growth and causing hair loss. Acknowledging these connections and addressing the underlying trauma is crucial for your recovery and overall well-being. This was it for today's episode. I hope you liked it. If you did, let me know in comments. Drop a like as always. Share this episode with others. I'll talk more about the healing aspect in the next part. Until then, let the healing begin.